So in the last few slides, you've increasingly seen me talk about not just a small helix, but an entire protein, the lipids, small molecules, other types of lipids. It's increasingly a large complex of many things interacting, right? This turns out to be important for membranes in general. And in fact, if we just think about two random particles in a large membrane that should interact, if they diffuse around freely, according to the Singer Nicholson model, well, if they had to interact in general, it would take a very long time before two random particles find each other in a cell. It would be much more convenient if I could somehow group them together and force them to be close to each other. This is a theoretical concept that physicists and people doing modeling proposed a long time ago, essentially called a lipid raft. So the idea with the lipid raft is roughly using many of the things that I brought up here, that what if I had a domain in a membrane that was not quite as fluid as the fluid mosaic model, but maybe having excess cholesterol and others here, stiffen it up so that proteins here don't really diffuse so much relative to each other. That would mean that these two proteins would stay close to each other and it could facilitate and speed up reactions that were dependent on having multiple partners together. The only caveat is was very hard to measure this experimentally because you can't really determine the structure of it. I would still say that this is not common. Um, we might see it now again in cells. Uh, there is some advanced light microscopy, for instance, that appear to see some more well-ordered regions in cells. But uh, be aware of the concept of lipid rafts. Uh, 10 years from now, we might tell that it wasn't until the late 2020s that we found all the lipid raft structures, but today we don't have that much experimental data on it. On the other hand, remember my comment about each protein having a layer or two of lipids around the right? This agrees kind of well with the idea of having a few lipids that don't really diffuse freely, but these lipids stick together with a protein or two. And this region would then diffuse freely around in the membrane. So it's not an alternative to the fluid mosaic model. It's more of a modification that we might have locally more rigid regions that diffuse together in the large sea of the remaining lipids. 